In a story that I would normally talk about over on that game place, I'm going to tell you a little bit about something that confuses me in the gaming space. It doesn't look like Disney and Epic's partnership is going anywhere anytime soon. We're years away. How do I know that? Well, because Games Hub actually published an article that I think we should pay attention to. Disney's Epic Entertainment Universe is still a few years away. That's a heck of a headline, and it seems to be quite accurate, and it tells us something else. Disney has a penchant to lie, or lead astray. Maybe that's a better way to say it, or, or possibly uh, articulate a different truth than reality. There, that's fair. So going back to August 14th, just after the D23 uh, event was held, uh, we start to get more details emerging. So the revealed event was that Marvel was going to cross over into Fortnite. I think that's happened before, so it's not really news. And alongside new Disney and Star Wars skins that are set to be available in the game, um, after promising major news seemingly tied to its recent $1.5 billion investment in Fortnite Maker Epic Games, the announcement seemed very lackluster. But a new Disney Parks blog might explain why not as much was actually revealed. As detailed in that article, Disney and Epic Games' major collaboration project is still a few years away. Disney's initial investment was announced in February of 2024, seemingly making uh, or marking the very start of its partnership with Epic. So any major projects in the works will still need ample development time before they're ready for the public eye. As for what's on the way, Disney Parks blog actually teased new details. Imagine a place where all your favorite Disney characters and worlds converge in one connected universe, where you can watch, play, and even create your own adventures. Earlier this year, Disney announced a new collaboration with Epic Games, the creators of Fortnite, to build all new games and entertainment universe. Okay, we already knew this part. What's coming next? The question, isn't that just Disney Dreamlight Valley? So far, Disney and Epic Games haven't spilled the beans about their collaboration project, but there have been ample clues about what's in the works. Most notably, an early teaser image for their plans revealed a large map with areas inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas, Wreck-It Ralph, and other franchises. Another island featured Marvel, 20th Century Fox, Lucasfilm, ESPN, Pixar, and Disney Plus as brands and other things like Star Wars. While the nature of this image was left vague, well, you kind of already can guess what it is, it could be assumed that Epic Games' expertise will inspire the birth of a virtual world where each Disney property is explorable in some form, a virtual theme park of a sort. Should that be the case, it's important to ask the question, how will this differ from past Disney games and entertainment universes? Disney Dreamlight Valley already lets you meet and greet characters and explore the full scope of Disney's most popular animated worlds. But before that, Disney Infinity attempted the same thing. Before work on this project was unceremoniously canceled. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. Bringing together all of Disney's key brands, including more adult-oriented content like ESPN, could change matters. But it would be fair to say that this new universe will need a significant hook to differentiate itself from Disney's past. At this stage, we'll have to wait and see what Disney has planned. I don't. In fact, I'm going to pick up here where Leia Williams left off. Disney's trying to get into this whole virtual worlds idea with this map here. They're trying to find a way to engage customers outside of very expensive theme parks and to draw you into all of their properties and keep you there for as long as they possibly can. I imagine engagement in something like this will give them even more details into other aspects of your life and maybe even be able to target you with specific merchandise if they don't do that already. When you look at something like this, basically they're breaking this up into neighborhoods that they're going to want you to go and visit and stay a while. 
And if you want things, digital things, to play around with in those worlds, well, you'll have to spend real money. Is this dangerous? Probably. Is this what they hope is the future? Yes, I'm sure. But the question is, will you engage in it? Is this the way you want to consume content going forward? Now, we all know that uh, virtual reality hasn't worked out very well for anybody quite yet, and the augmented reality needs some work as well. People don't seem to be willing to spend that kind of money, but in something like this, would that change their mind? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Double check while you're down there that you're still subscribed. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment because it'll help, and uh, share this video around because I'm sure a lot of people would like to know about it. Also, you will get a completely different type of coverage on this particular subject over on the other channel, That Game Place, where we actually talk about legitimate game news. And I would tell you that our speculation is usually a very educated hunch, although most of the time we're just going to give you the facts. and. Not a, lot of other, not a lot of other stuff. On that note, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya.